Hola a todos y todas. Mi nombre es Carl St. Clair. Estoy muy orgulloso y bendecido de haber tenido la oportunidad de liderar la Orquesta Sinfónica Nacional durante la última década. Ha sido un honor, un gran honor. Pero ahora es para mí un poco mejor hacer el resto de la entrevista en inglés. Hope that's okay. When I was invited to be the music director, I had to decide one thing. What is my purpose? Why have I been led to Costa Rica? And I realized that it was about three or four things. One was to help the, the National Symphony become better and better and better. The other thing was to work with young Costa Rican conductors. The next thing, and the thing that I have to admit, we've done the least amount of work, but that's going to change too, is to helping the young Costa Rican composers. And that we're starting this year in August. We're having a big festival and a big competition for Costa Rican composers to be performed here on this stage uh, by the National Symphony. I've located my purpose. I've found why I'm here and I'm hard at work at it. And this is one of the great joys is when you know what your purpose is and you can go for it. Rather than just having a job, it's not it. It's, there must be a reason that I'm here. This is the reason I found and I really uh, feel very proud of the work. Yes, we have a lot of work to do. The Orquesta Sinfónica Nacional is undergoing an incredible generational change. We have said goodbye and thank you to so many wonderful musicians from the orchestra and many of them have been performing in the orchestra for over 40 years. So there is this generational change which is taking place and it's exciting time for us as we say goodbye to our dear friends that have given so much to the to the National Symphony and to Costa Rica and to musicians. But it's also an exciting time to invite new and young and exciting new musicians into the orchestra. My main goal in our auditions which are beginning in May is to keep the Orchestra Sinfonico Nacional Costa Rican, Costa Recense. We are almost 100% Costa Rican right now and it's the orchestra of the country, for the country, and we want the musicians of the orchestra to be also Costa Rican. The musicians are so dedicated and so hardworking. So our goal is to continually get better and better so that our performances have higher and higher degrees of artistic achievement and integrity. I always compare an orchestra, how well is it serving its community? How well is it serving the people that support it? How well is it doing to bring music into the lives of people that uplift their lives, that make darkness brighter, that make souls happier? It's how well are we serving the people of Costa Rica? And are we doing a good job at making sure that every young person gets to hear the National Symphony, that gets to have a musical instrument in their hands? I've had the opportunity now to meet four Costa Rican presidents, which I'm very, very proud to say. And with each one, I've had the one comment that I've shared with each of them, please don't take the musical instruments out of the hands of young people. Don't take the flute away, that violin, the cello, the trumpet, those drumsticks. Don't take those instruments out of those hands because the question is simple. What's going to replace that flute or violin in the hands of those young people? You know the answer, I know the answer, and it isn't pretty. It isn't constructive. It will not do what musical instruments and what music and the lives of all the young people can do to shape them, to help them to grow and to develop into people who are really conscious about culture, people who are conscious about the, the effect and the importance of music in the life of everybody. And that's part of our mission. That is the main part of our mission, is sharing music throughout our country and making sure that through all of our music programs that exist throughout Costa Rica, that every, ch every child that wants to have a musical instrument in their hand has this opportunity. And that takes support and that takes understanding the importance of music in our public schools. Touring internationally isn't really on the top of our priority list. We have so many more pressing in, in, in situations that we're dealing with right now locally. My motto is, 
I want to be locally acclaimed before we're nationally or internationally recognized. We are international, but it's not by leaving Costa Rica or the National Theatre where we're sitting today. It's through social media. Everybody's on YouTube. We have a YouTube channel where you can see hundreds of performances by the, by the National Symphony and all of those are seen by people from all over the world at the push of a button. It's much more important that we travel in buses to various parts of Costa Rica right now. That's a higher priority for me than would be to get on a plane and travel to an, an international destination. Este es un gran regalo en mi vida. Uno que aprecio. Hemos compartido muchas alegrías de hacer buena música juntos y nos hemos abrazado en momentos de profunda tristeza. Estoy profundamente agradecido por todas las recompensas de ser el director musical. Prometo trabajar aún más duro y con mayor compromiso y pasión.